Hey, it's Johnny from Smoke Q. Today we're doing pot roast on the Yoder YS640 pellet grill. So let me gather up everything and I'll be right back. Today we're going to be cooking a chuck roast, better known as a pot roast. We're using Jack Daniels beef rub for this. And I'm going to be seasoning this piece of meat pretty heavy. It's about three pounds of chuck roast. So you can go pretty heavy without a problem on this. I'm pushing the rub in to make sure it gets good contact with the meat. You don't see me trimming this because with the chuck roast or pot roast, after it's cooked, you pull it apart and then you can get out all the fat and silver skin that way. I'm also seasoning up all the edges. And we're going to be cooking this on the Yoder YS640. We're going to be using the oak, cherry, and hickory blend from Smoke Ring Pellets. I'm going to be doing the pot roast the old fashioned way, which you finish it off in a cast iron pot after smoking it for a few hours. So we got this all seasoned up, so let me meet you out at the odor. Got the pot roast on the odor YS640. I'm running at 240 degrees. I'm using smoke ring pellets, oak, hickory, and cherry blend. So I've got the pan under it to catch the drippings, and I can use that to make gravy later. So I'm gonna let it smoke for about three hours, and then I'm gonna pull it off, and I'm gonna finish it in a cast iron pot. So I'll see you when I pull this off the grill. All right, so the pot roast has hit about 140 degrees internal, so I'm gonna pull it off the yogurt. And we're going to go stick it in the cast iron pot inside the house, so I'll meet you inside. Okay, so what I did is I put the pot roast in the cast iron pan, put about four or five good handfuls of baby carrots in, and then some just roughly chopped up uh, red onion. And I'm going to put this on the stove, bring it up to a boil, and then I'm going to bring it down to a simmer. And let it sit there for about another half hour to 45 minutes. Getting pretty tender now. Chill too. So I'm gonna let it go for about 15 more minutes and then I'll pull it off. So with the pot roast, or better known as chuck roast, I smoked it for about four hours in the yoder, and then I pulled it off the yoder and I put it in a cast iron pot until it reached an internal temperature, about 210 degrees. I also added uh, red onion and carrot to it. I did the potatoes in a separate pot. And I let it rest for about 15 minutes and until it was fall apart tender. And then I pulled it apart and cut some of it up. But if you guys have never tried smoked pot roast before, give it a try. It's not that hard to do. This is Johnny from Smoky Q. I'll see you later.